trying something new. You saw no more trains run during the daytime. Bringing up some old habits like hiking. So, I know it's salmon season, fall. Let's do some hiking. We are at the Salmon River Falls. We're coming off the seasonal highway, Dam Road. That's the little name, is Dam Road. Come all the way to the end. And one of the things I noticed since I was last here is they removed this bridge. There used to be a nice steel truss bridge crossed here. It's no longer here. I'll have to find photos of it when I was last here or something. I'm pretty sure I got some photos of it. So we're going to take a little hike. And eventually, uh, you know, we'll get around the, the Salmon River Falls. As I mentioned, it's uh, salmon season, full foliage. <clears throat> nice little view of the river, I guess. It used to be a steel truss pedestrian bridges to span all this. You're able to walk across the other side. It's no longer here. Let's go, let's go to water level. Coming off the parking lot. Got a nice little trail on the way down. Oh! <laughs> it's a good way to start your hike. My little leg just popped. That's that loud pop was. <laughs> this is going to be a fun trip. Hopefully not, you know, a trip that's falling down the hill. Some tells me I should hike more. Nice little trail here. The bench. Place to sit and relax. much of a trail going this way though. Oh, here this is down there. That's the Salmon River Dam. Not sure if that's in town of Redfield or Orwell. It's called the Redfield Reservoir. A couple miles away, but right here on Dam Road, that's the reason it's called Dam Road. Seasonal Highway, if I hadn't mentioned it earlier. I might as well swing up to the reservoir at some point today. Because it's at drought levels. <laughs> so, this is the only t place you could actually see the dam, dam itself. channel that up there. I don't see any dates on this bridge abutment. Hmm. Alright, back on the hiking trail. Again, if you like what you see, let me know in the description. Like the video. I want to try to cover most of the parks and, you know, 
<laughs> stuff like that. In my area for now. Another view of the river. Trails are marked. States in like a extreme drought situation. We haven't had much rain all summer. I wanted to hit sim. <laughs> I wanted to hit the falls first and work my way, you know, to the reservoir. But unknown to me, they were doing road construction, have the road closed, the local traffic to the falls, which is why I came in from Dam Road, the seasonal highway. It's gonna work at the falls and work my way back, but. Pretty much we're working in the middle and working our way down, then working our way back. <laughs> so this little stream right here. River's on the other side of that embankment. Well, I've come up to the end of this tr foot trail. Uh, it c c continues on across the creek right here, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're a fisherman fishing, you can continue on down. I mean, this is the area I stopped at. Yeah, so... I don't have waders or muck boots or stuff like that, but the trail would carry carry it down this way. There's nothing else really goes the other way. And I'm not equipped for water. Which is stupid on my part because I knew I was coming to Salmon River Falls and wore these. <laughs> Overview on my side, on my part, I guess. All right, I passed a little picnic area when I was coming in the dam. Dam road, I think that would open up to show you more of the dam itself. I'm not sure. Uh, it's been 20 something years since I was up here last. Oh, the bridge was still there. <laughs> so just going back to the car but if you're fishing you got you know you can hit that log and go with down that way and all right we're gonna continue out damn road and see what that picnic area is about these are kind of the road conditions I'm talking about seasonal highway as expected That's the power company that owns the dam. This is where we're going. <laughs> I come off of that road. There's the parking lot. And if this is the actual reservoir I'm looking at, it is not good. We should be seeing water right here. Let's go wander yonder. 
pretty sure the beach is right here. And this is not good. <laughs> well, it's looking like it's gonna be, it's not good. Wow. Unreal. Simmering Verzer Reservoir, buddy. Wow. I am amazed, if you can't tell. Right now where I'm walking, you can see where the water level is supposed to be. Along the shoreline. And where it currently is. Wow. There's your picnic area. It sounds like somebody just pulled in behind me, so might be some, some more people showing up. There should be water where I'm walking right now. I think this is like a California crowd going on here in upstate New York at the Salmon River. To put it in perspective. old foundation maybe this game's quite odd looks like a foundation a basement with an entryway again I, 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 I stay almost six feet I'd be underwater to see this was okay. how do I say that this was made with intention of you know buildings and stuff being buried underwater submerged I guess is the word I'm looking for so that's no surprise that you'll see foundations hey I found some water <laughs> not much water but oh, I'm tempted to go to Redfield and see what it looks like on the bridges Redfield, I guess, is right around the corner. <laughs> Literally. Again, we're at the Salmon River Reservoir in upstate New York. Extreme route conditions.
strange rock mound right here. Right. Well, let's go check out Redfield. This is warrants a trip up there. I didn't realize it was this bad. Redfield will take you 10 minutes if you take the car and get back out on the main road. It's going to take me 20. <laughs> you get a four wheeler next time. <laughs> or side by side, or whatever they're called now. <laughs> you pick the carry in from where the water would be. before a lot of these access roads are seasonal highways so they're rough but anyway our next stop up the line is off from CCC Road it said something like a boat access spot or something I'm guessing for kayak because I don't see any. anyway when you leave dam road you, if you're going toward Redfield probably five three or three to five miles we come across CCC Road it's a dead-end road that's where we are now. A nice little spot here that you didn't even know existed. So let's explore. So we're off of CCC Road. Sponsored. Now this is a state land, it looks like. State of New York, Department of Environmental Compensation. The last land we were at was at Brookfield Renewable. Being a state land, I'm sure there's a hiking trail. There's a trail that goes off this way. And I got a nice little map over here. You can see in the background. Alright. Salmon River Reservoir. I'll have to read it for you. Salmon River Reservoir. Uh, <laughs> read it. <laughs> How about you just blurt it? <laughs> How about you open your mouth when you're reading something to somebody? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So, yeah. That. Um... It shows you all the state spots. I'm trying to find our spot here. So I'm not finding it right away, but... <sighs> this is where we're going. Okay, this is where we're going to go. Because there's two bridges in, at the beginning of the Redfield Reservoir. So we must be here... Somewhere. So we're going to hit these spots. Oh. Little America? I don't even know where I am on this map. How old is this map? Because <laughs> I know this is Red Town of Redfield right here. And I know this is the road we're on. Cory Hill? This must be us. Jackson Road Boat Launch. Maybe this is it. This looks like it. Okay, so we must be at the Jackson Hill Boat Launch. Because that must be Dam Road. Because it kind of lines up with what I got into. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so we're heading this way. We're planning this to come off to down 
27, 13 or something like that. And then cut across down to 17 and then you got these other, you know, pipeline road and all this other stuff over here. Redfield Island, is that the name of this place? Here's closed, dark dawn, camping prohibited. Alright, so we'll just call this the Redfield Island day use area. <laughs> and all the red legends and how big the reservoir is, I think right around here is obviously there's the oh, yeah, I can't even show you on this. <laughs> it's faded too badly. <laughs> So there's nice little information about it. We're going to call this the Redfield Island Day Use Area. Nice parking bumpers. You know, nice parking spot. And some sportsman's things for you. Ah, here's another sign. No camping. <laughs> Social distancing. Contact number. Ah, here we are. So are we at the Little America or are we at the Redfield Island? Yeah, so we're at Little America according to... <laughs> that was that? Um, you know, take the steep way or the long way? <laughs> you don't know that. It looks like a death trap down there. Let's go this way. And then you slip on an apple. Whoa! I think I'll avoid the excitement. Let's go this way, I guess. I don't see any picnic tables though. Being day use, there's usually a picnic table or, or two around. Let's see if we can find out where we were. <laughs> In proximity to where we are. Sun's right in my eyes. I can't really see that well. Looks familiar. We must have been around that other knoll over there on the other side of that. See the rock pile. All right. Wasteland over here.
how much to see here. The sun's right in my eyes. All right, let's continue on our little road trip. What's this way? Okay, that's interesting. Enough to take a picture of. Cinder block wrapped up around the tree root. Only brings questions to you, I guess. Yeah, it looks like there's a little hiking trail this way. Let's go see where this goes, I guess. I got some time. Sign say no camping. What's this? I'm confused. <laughs> Campsite number four. I think you have to go to the DEC website to register camping sites. Parking lots right over there. So, not a bad site though. Mind you, the water would be right up in the here. That's campsite number four. Let's carry on. Site. The other one was right over there. This is like Sasquatch country. Uh, I'm not feeling that, that energetic. I got a lot of more walking to do. I ain't gonna follow this trail somewhere. <laughs> I'm still baffled. I said that they use and there's, there's camping and. Uh, So at a little America, this little notification map is temporary and depicts approximate locations for campsites, boat launches, and trails. Please caution and navigate in the Salmon River area. More detailed information can be found here. Spaggy Brash, Redfield Island, AUS area, or we're at the Little America campsite. Alright. Yeah. Looks like our next stop is going to be Redfield itself. I have no idea what is going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Off of, uh, uh, uh huh. That's. Go. So is that a lie? Uh, <laughs> there's a mark right over there that says you can camp <laughs> along with fire pit. Let's see where this trail goes. Oh, it goes into the pit of rattlesnakes, it sounds like. Oh my. I'm not going to even attempt 
to do this trail today. Like I said, if somebody wants me to come back and do an in-depth look right now, I'm more in depth on the reservoir and the water level and the drought that's why I say where I am and then I might take a hike down some of these trails if I have enough interest but right now with that steep climb I'll pass on that and this is another looking campsite looks like <laughs> alright let's go to the the other end of the reservoir and let's see how bad it is the last time I was up here you could actually see the water lines to where the normal water level usually is compared to where it would be now so I'm kind of curious to see how much because I'm pretty sure it's going to be feet below where it should be if there's even water running through there Spot I was aiming for, but this will work. We're at the first bridge in Redfield. Bolt launch. Here's the bolt launch. Some, I think that's a municipal building across the road. We're in between the bridge spans in Redfield. This is the spot's name. Seminary River Reservoir Fishing Access Site. It's right across from, looks like, a town building. I'll get over there in a minute. A lot of information over there. This over here caught my eye. This is a bridge, <laughs> and it's not. <laughs> Some guys fishing down there. So that's the main street in the Redfield over there. Redfield Firehouse. That's where we are in proximity to that. around this thing, this observation platform. Feels like you're 20 feet in the air because you are. You can see over there some of the old remnants of something over there. Is that a trail? Check that out. Yeah, a little bit of a walkway along the road here. Man, it's even dry over there too. Show you the reason why I thought this was a bridge until I got here. <laughs> so maybe the culvert comes out. It used to come out. Get in the shade. 
page so I can see what I'm doing here. Alright, green dragon red peeled. Let's see if you got water on that side, or <laughs> the lack of. You got nothing over there now. And then you got the same amount over here. And I thought that was a bridge you were going over. This site is compliant with ADA, America Disabilities Act compliant. So here's the boat ramp. I'm parking for ADAs over here in this small brushy spot, and they could come in that way. Par main parking lot's over there. And this is the boat ramp. I'm guessing this is where the docks go, but <laughs> don't really need them. Yep, that's where the docks go. This is where you would put your boat in, but... <laughs> now you see why I said that it felt like I was 20 feet high. <laughs> it is. There you are at the bottom of the boat ramp. Uh, save that for later, I guess. Yeah, hiking trails and everything. I know there's people fishing over here, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna walk that way. I was aiming to get to today. This is the main river into the reservoir itself. This is the one that feeds it. How far down the water is.
make a two-part series out of this. <laughs> I think I'm back when it's in the flood stage. Looks like our sunny day just ended. <laughs> well, looks like we're only going to cover the north side of the reservoir. What started the trip at Dam Road <laughs> was road construction on the route to the falls, and they're that same roads on this side too. So, I won't be able to access them without taking a 20 mile detour. So, I'll just go back this way. So, we still have to stop at the falls anyway, which is on the north side. So, we're just up the road a little bit further from the bridge spot. This is a drivable trail road. I didn't realize that. I seen a parking space out there and parked in it. It's a campsite. <laughs> I didn't realize you could drive back here, so I'm just walking back and I ain't gonna go anywhere. Well, I'm not sure the name of this area. Now, this is for camping, too. Got a camping spot over here. Camping spot over here. Uh, here's some information, I guess. Site 23. One of them deals again. And this looks like the wall itself for the reservoir. This is the actual. foundation to keep water in. <laughs> For the lack of. <laughs> yeah, this would require another spot to visit. So where does this trail go? It's an obvious trail. I might have I was said enough to get views like this, I'd have to be standing in 10 feet of water. <laughs> so this should be underwater right now. Looks like somebody got stuck here. <laughs> you know, when they said that I was going to the reservoir, I figured I'd bring a boat, not a four wheeler. <laughs> oh, again, the sun angle's bad. <laughs> That's the only problem I'm facing is the sun came back out. <laughs> Got a lot of views, but it's going to be, quality's going to be poor, but the sun, the angle it's at right now. I'm hoping to see the bridges. Now mind you, you can see on the rock where the water line would be.
you like the video, please leave a comment or something. So I don't know how I'm doing, if this is something you want me to continue doing or not. It's only happening here because this is an unusual event, but like I mentioned at the beginning, I like to hit all these recreation areas and highlight the New York State for what it's really worth and not what people presume it to be. I mean, how can you ignore that picture? Oh, you're in New York State? Yeah, this is New York State. The, not the way people think it is. This is upstate New York. The Salmon River Reservoir, Redfield, New York. Uh, Salmon River State Forest, I believe. If anybody's a, you know, a state enthusiast. And again, to convey the seriousness, right now I'd be standing in water. This would all be underwater. All of it. Obviously, except for the trees. But that truck park, that truck would be underwater. <laughs> Where I'm standing would be underwater. That boulder I showed you with the watermarks on it would be underwater. There's the shoreline right there. And that's a downhill slope. Alright. So we're walking the beach back. I'm gonna hike the woods back. It'll save me from having to go around the peninsula. I'm not sure of the name of this location, the sign that was, that's usually on post new, first pole new estate area, wasn't there. Now I've got to see any indication on, <laughs> to identify what this place is. There's camping here. There's trails here. But I don't know what area I'm in. First reference I've seen. So we're on state land, trail number two. Another camping spot. The sun's getting at that angle still, so obviously tank camping, carry in, carry out. But can't beat the view. In fact, is the area you want to be in. So we'll take a walk down here. I'll leave you on so I don't divide titles. 
It's really annoying when you divide 15 titles for an item. Oh, this is going to suck for me, so... You might see me make a face plant here on these rocks. Whoa, see you. <laughs> there. All right. So again, we'll be underwater, in, in the water, not under it yet. To get over to this spot, you have to either be very tall or in a boat. But today, we'll show you that unique view. Again, if I need any more signs of that you have to be underwater, In that wind, I get. All right, right the tree. So the deal over here, you have to walk through the marsh or walk through the water to get over here or pull up in a boat. A little tree island here. I don't know if it's a berm or what. The purpose of leaving is this here. It all stretches around until about there and then drops right out. I wouldn't be surprised if that's some old stick somebody used to mark where the water level was at that current time. <laughs> Everything over here is all rocky, the water's clean, and they get over on this side. It's like, what the hell happened? <laughs> Sorry, funny moment. How'd that get down there? It looked like it got. Looks like it fell and slid down. Oh, that would make sense with the water dropping. And it actually slid down as the water dropped. So now that, that's unique. Try one more spot. The main road's closed. To local traffic only. So I'm gonna try to believe there is one more spot that way. I'm gonna try to get to. Not 100% positive on it. She must have been going in some kind of forest. Yeah, really. <laughs> it crash land there? Yeah. Freaking UFO. Sasquatch, UFOs, aliens. Look at this conspiracy there he's going. Got a nice hiking trail here. Decent hike. Another campsite right here. We're almost at the berm. The wall. Just call it the wall. I know nothing about dams and water, so I <laughs> caught the wrong thing over and over again. Let's we'll call it the wall. 
Oh, we're back out in the main area. All right. I'll keep you on. Maybe I missed a sign because I went down the inside of this way. Ah, that's why I missed it. I'm going to pile stuff up and blend the trail right in because it looks like it was an ATV trail and they turned it into a hiking trail. So it looks like, yep. That's why. Um, Mystic thought it was a pile of dirt. <laughs> yeah. The only information I got is that it's a campsite, camping area. Carry in, carry out, site 23. ship or anything is the the wall I'll come back if somebody wants me to come back I ain't gonna walk like that right now today I got a lot of hiking to do I haven't even hit the Sam River Falls and that's a good couple of hike miles right there and I'm running out of time am I going the right way <laughs> this is the the road. This is not the road out. This is another campsite you're walking into. It looks like there's another trail that way. So, the road out's over here. Didn't see it because the sun was in my eyes. Sure. Yep. How can you miss the road? Blame it on the sun. Again, it's, you drive a vehicle back here. It's a decent size. I mean, I don't have to get gravel road. I'm hoping road construction is done now. You know what? It sounds like they're letting cars through now. Yeah, it's a campsite. It says state lands. But there's supposed to be a sign over here that says, see, coming straight off 15. Or whatever the road is, 17. You're coming straight off 17, it's right around the corner. And there's a sign that's supposed to say what it is, it's not saying anything about this. That's all it says State Land, State Forest. But it doesn't say what access site this is. You can see where they've been doing the road work, so I'm going to try to head this other direction until I get to the road closed part. This is only open to local traffic. <coughs> allows me to sit there so long. <laughs> See, there's a sign right here, but it doesn't... There's nothing on it to say anything about what that is. Here we are. We started our trip over there on that side of the bridge. And now we're on this side. on the side. Well, it don't look like there's any hiking trails on this side either. <laughs> Wish I could show you some more of that pipeline though. And the road to the power generating plant is closed. Ooh. This is going to be a fun trip down. Hang on to something. It's only a matter of days before fishermen come in here and salmon fishing. The 
is a better shot of the buried pipeline. And that's why this is a big pipe underground. Comes from the dam up here to a power generating station just on the outside of Orwell. But that road's closed. So we'll see how that goes. There's your power generating plant down that road, but as you can see, it's not good. <laughs> I go that way. But your power generating plant's right in there. You can see the power transformers. Utility poles. Yeah, this place is busy. We finally made it. <laughs> if the road wasn't closed in the beginning, it would have been a lot shorter video if we hadn't stopped at the reservoir. Uh, people coming up the trail right now. They're on Falls Road. That's the parking lot. The entrance to the place. So. Wow, there's a lot of upgrades here. There's your website. Safety tips. Let's go. Again, I'm keeping the eye on for the experience. There's no sense to turn the camera off just to go right there and turn it back on. So, ambient noise.
This should be interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> now is not a good time to be afraid of heights. <laughs> Right? Pull it down. I'm going to turn you off for this. I had to say some thoughts to my maker to, to get that last shot. Is it literally straight down? That's quite steep. Well, that will conclude this Salmon River Reservoir, which was only going to be Salmon River Falls, <laughs> tour. Hopefully you comment and like the video. Again, I'll hit some of these areas again if need be. I think maybe next time I'll actually make it to the bottom of the... <laughs> So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And you wanted to go down there? Wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, we're back at this spot. It's only a mile and a half up the road from Sam River Falls. So, get some nice sunset.
Well, if the sun was shining. <laughs> 